So the next thing that we're going to cover is a general change to any PHP function or any kind of operation that allows you to provide an offset. Now by this, I mean, let's say we had some kind of string in here and we were saying the weather is sunny. Let's say we wanted to check this string for the keyword sunny and then report back, let's say that it's good weather. Obviously this is a really silly example. We would use something like STR pause. We would check the position of uh, the occurrence that we're looking for. So in here we have our haystack, we have our needle, which is what we're looking for. And then here optionally we have an offset. So by this offset, we mean that we can start at the start. We can start from character one, we can start from character 20. Uh, it's entirely up to you what you pass in here. Now the only problem is, let's just go ahead and output good weather so we can see that this works over in the browser there we go now the only problem is if for example we wanted to search from character 10 let's go ahead and do that we know that it works if we wanted to search from character 20 we know that this is probably not going to work because it's come over the point where we're searching from so if you count from this side onwards then uh, we would be past this value here so it wouldn't find it now previously what we couldn't do is use a negative offset and this applies to any PHP function that requires an offset, basically you can now use negative offsets, which is really good. So for example, let's just pull this over into PHP 7 and check that it doesn't work. If I was to do minus 20 here, we know that from here minus 20, we're looking around kind of this area here, we know that we would find it because we'd be searching from around here upwards. So let's go ahead and check this out in PHP 7 and notice that we get an offset not contained in string we just go ahead and reduce this slightly to maybe 15, we see the following. So it's just not really working at all. Let's go ahead and change that again. Nope, just not working whatsoever. So let's go ahead and pull the same example over, as I said, to here, and now search for say minus 15. That's going back 15 characters and then searching from that point onwards. Let's go ahead, check it out in PHP 7.1 and you can see it works. Now we're not going to stop there, I'm going to show you another example and again this might be something that you've not come across within PHP. We're going to go ahead and search or at least uh, give a string here that we want to pluck a particular character out of. Now what we can actually do is use a kind of array type accessor at a particular position. So essentially now we're saying we want to pluck out the first character. So if we go over and give that a refresh we get A and likewise if we were to say 4 or three rather, because obviously this is zero indexed, we would get X. Now what happens if in say PHP seven or earlier, we wanted to go ahead and pull out the last character of here. What we would have to do in this case is do something like strlen or mbstrlen on the name minus one, because we know it's zero indexed. And this would give us the same result as passing in three. But wouldn't it be more convenient if we could pass in minus one? And that would then obviously pull this. And in this case, it doesn't work. So uninitialized string offset minus one. So over to PHP 7.1 where we can actually do this. So let's go ahead and pull this same example over, give that a refresh and we get X. And like I said, if you wanted to grab the uh, last two, you can do that as well or two back, you could do that as well. So that is just uh, a general update to negative offsets. Uh, obviously the PHP manual will be updated. So if you have any functions that you are using or you're going to use, then this should be documented in there as well. But basically that's really helpful. Any uh, function or anything like this that takes a offset will now allow a negative offset, simple as that.